According to the International Journal of Current Research, over 24 million plastic bags are used in Kenya every year, half of which end up in dump sites. Our next story takes us to Plastic Fantastic, an organization that has found a way of turning the plastic waste into a business. Take a look. Plastic Fantastic is a fair trade organization run by Shiro Sigal and her husband Jessa. Before the couple met in 2014, Shiro had been toying with the idea of starting an African-inspired jewelry company with her source of raw materials being plastic waste. So Shiro and I met at an Amani reception. They were bringing together students from the 2013 class and the incoming cohort, which was mine, for 2014. So over dinner, uh, the president of the Amani Institute, Roshan Paul, went and introduced the two of us. And um, uh, under the context of having a similar interest, and I had the interest of handcrafts, uh, running a handcraft business, and Shiru had the idea of doing handcrafts from upcycled plastic waste. Jessa for me felt God sent. You know, when he said, yeah, let's see. I was like, you want to see? Yeah, okay, okay, I'm bringing, I am bringing the prototypes, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, she's been psyched about the idea. And that's the thing, you know, even when things don't work, you know, you, you say, okay, this didn't work. Okay, what can we do to improve? That, having that spirit um, is, is very important. The couple used their savings and other finances from a crowdfunding initiative as capital to start the business. So far, over the past two years of operation, we've spent um, from our own personal resources, I would say about $20,000. We've also run a crowd crowdfunding campaign through Indiegogo. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with crowdfunding, but crowdfunding is tapping into the, the community, uh, finding people who believe what you believe, and reaching out to them and asking them if they're interested in supporting you. Uh, to achieve your mission. So uh, last year we ran the crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo and we raised $7,420. The company sources plastic waste from Aga Khan Academy in Nairobi at no cost, a factor that significantly cuts down on their cost of production. Here in Nairobi, uh, the Agricon Academy has a student body of a thousand students and for the past two years we've partnered with them um, and we do two things. Uh, we have an ongoing recycling campaign with the students to teach them lifelong habits of environmental stewardship and um, how to separate waste. And um, good ideas like recycling is good, you know. And so we, we, we teach them how to recycle. And then on top of that, we have an education program where we go in and we teach the students how to create handcrafts from plastic waste, how to be mindful about themselves, their community, and their environment. And then we teach them lifelong habits of uh, conscious consumerism. The company has been maximizing on local fashion shows and online channels to create awareness of their products. And after two years of business, the couple has clocked sales worth $2,000. Our products have been featured in a couple different fashion shows here. Uh, Nairobi Fashion Week, our products were shown um, on one or two, um, one or two uh, runs. We are currently in negotiations with um, a couple organizations in the United States. Uh, one art uh, museum and a handcraft company um, based out of the United States that sources internationally. We are also selling our goods on Etsy, Etsy.com, which is the world's largest handcraft retail website. Domestic uptake of their product has been modest, impeded by competition from Chinese products that retail at cheaper prices. Um, artisans that we work with, like Cyrus here at Nice Eye Jewelry, um, these individuals go in and invest their their time and energy into creating every single element of the jewelry so the chains the the coils um, the 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 braids of the plastic all these are done by hand and it takes time so because of this we have to charge a a wage that makes sense for everybody involved um, and here in the the kenyan market um, it's, it's difficult to sell our products to your average Kenyan. 
um, and, and the people who have been um, positively um, uh, uh, receiving these, these items are primarily expats. Despite their challenges, the couple is committed to not only making plastic fantastic a success, but changing the state of the environment that they live in. Our work is to run ourselves out of business. Our work is to solve this problem so that nobody needs Plastic Fantastic Kenya again. So you don't have the landfills and or the kind of consumption that would lead to the kind of pollution. That... Um, so after the five months I was there and I was like, okay, so where do I start? And I said, you know, if there's waste, you can take that twist and make something useful. At least that way you start with a business solution and that's a good place to start. So what you're seeing now is the beginnings of a solution. We have not reached the end until we completely solve the problem.